TIFU by using Airbnb. So I'm literally sitting in a public parking lot right now with an angry seething wife. We decided to use Airbnb for the first time while on a one-day trip to Kona to check out the volcano. We informed the host that we would be arriving late and he responded that it wouldn't be a problem. And gave us the instructions for self-check-in. When we arrived, we followed the instructions and entered in the code to open the door. To our shock, there was someone already sleeping in the room. He was as shocked as us since he was sound asleep when we opened the door. We apologized and quickly closed the door and went to look for the host who we finally found sound. Asleep as well. We woke him up and he started mumbling excuses about how the other person showed up first so they got the room. He then admitted to us that he had accidentally double booked the room on bookings.com and offered us to crash in his living room. When asked why he didn't tell us earlier that he had double booked, he said half the people don't show up. My wife lost it and starts yelling at the guy. I can tell things are going south and grab her to leave all the while she's yelling. We call Airbnb and get transferred to some help desk in India and the guy asks if we want to cancel the booking. At this point, I'm pissed and asked if he was serious. He says he has to ask and offers to refund the cost of the room and give us a $60 credit for stay somewhere else. We try calling around to the other hotels and they're all booked. This host had 700 reviews and everything looked on the up and up. We're now sleeping in the rental car for the night. TL. Dear Airbnb host double booked us and we're sleeping in our rental car in the Walmart parking lot. This exact thing happened when me and my husband were on our road trip to move to Texas. We got to Irving at 10 p.m., entered the door code, and saw someone in the bed. I tried calling the host about 10 times but he didn't answer. Had to pay completely out of pocket for a hotel room. And when the host answered the next day he took zero responsibility and blamed it on his staff got a $45 refund which obviously didn't cover the hotel cost Airbnb told me there was nothing they could do. To this day, I get pissed off if I think about it too much. This sounds like the start of the movie Barbarian. Great movie. Highly recommend watching when you're not staying at an Airbnb or sleeping in a rental car. Airbnb is terrible when there are failures. Once you have one negative experience, you will. It is hard to use the service again. The company is no help to the guest. And I stopped using them because of this. Bold move sitting on Reddit telling a story with a pissed off wife in the car. I've used it multiple times with no issues but I've always been renting an entire standalone home. It sounds like this was just a room in someone's house. I've never even considered one of those. So sorry for your bad experience. Something similar occurred to me and my wife in Volcano Hawaii last summer. Airbnb messed up and we slept in our car. Finally we got the help desk to give us out money back and we found a small motel called the Oasis. That had vacancy. It was that or a hostel. It was owned by a couple that was super nice. She made us fresh pastries in the morning. It was annoying but keep calling them about getting your money back. Maybe try the town volcano if you want adventure and views or Pahoa if you want to find another. Rental. Neither are Kona but we actually preferred the smaller towns over the tourist filled Kona. I hope you left a negative review with your experience for the guy. Pro tip. When calling any customer service, press the button offered for the Spanish language option. You'll likely be routed to a center in Texas instead of India, which will be more helpful. Airbnb sounded like a good idea when it started. But it became a way for landlords and wackos to run hotels without licenses. 
Nowhere I've ever gone has a rental site been enough of a deal to put up with the uncertainty and hassle I've seen. Too many horror stories for me to want to risk it. Things like this happen because if you don't keep your booking, you can't leave a review. The 700 other people he turned away weren't able to leave one star. I've been tempted to try Airbnb but haven't because of the issues you see on the internet. This solidified it for me. I'll stick to hotels. He didn't accidentally double book it. That was deliberate. He gambled and lost when you showed up. Now, how to get fair compensation and shame the asshat. Edit. My fiancé would start yelling at him too. It's glorious. That and other things is what's killing Airbnb. If the cost is basically the same as a hotel now, why not book a hotel? This is why many people are back to hotels. For me it's not worth it. Frankly, you need to never use Airbnb again. It hurts the local housing situation and has gotten unreasonably expensive lately. Also hosts in America are apparently becoming awful by asking the guests to do chores. Just get a hotel. As an Airbnb host, cabin owner, I would never book a room at someone's home. It is the entire space or nothing for me. As a former Airbnb employee, I use hotels thumbs up. Dang that really sucks. My mom has an Airbnb and when she had an incoming guest, the power in the whole town went out. Apparently vandals shot up a transformer. Or something like that. My mom went out of her way to book a hotel for her guest outside of where the power was at. And close to where her guest needed to be. My mom takes her hospitality really seriously. If you'd used Booking.com they would have found you alternative accommodation immediately and then deducted the extra cost from that asshole host don't use Airbnb. They don't care about guests. Wake up early. Go buy some coffee, donuts, and flowers and enjoy the rest of your trip. You will spend years being teased about your romantic stay in a Walmart parking lot. And your wife now has a win every argument card. Good luck. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.